as construction officially commences on Neon and the line. Saudi Arabia's visionary mega project, the world is eager to see how it unfolds. There are high expectations for this ambitious endeavor, and the possibilities are wide-ranging. Could this be the beginning of the world's greatest mega project ever? The Lion's Plan, unveiled by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, promises an extraordinary concept of living. The two parallel skyscrapers, 500 meters tall and stretching 170 kilometers through the desert, would be an engineering marvel, equivalent to two lines consisting of 2,000, one world trade centers each. The vision of a zero-carbon city, powered by renewable energy and sourced water, has captured imaginations and stirred awe. However, initial reactions also included suspicion. When the proposal was first revealed, there was limited information on the construction site, leading many to believe it was merely a publicity stunt. But three months after the presentation, drone footage showcased the excavations and developments already taking shape, signaling a surprising turn of events. There are three potential outcomes for the line. Scenario 1, construction comes to a halt, leaving the project unfinished and abandoned. This is a possibility faced by other ambitious projects in the past, but given the substantial support from the entire country and global attention, it seems less likely for the line. Scenario 2, Saudi Arabia heavily invests in the current plans, working towards achieving the promised features over the next decades. However, the project's sheer scale presents significant challenges, potentially making it an unattainable task to complete in a reasonable time frame. Scenario 3, a compromise is reached. The line is built gradually, in smaller segments, and at a reduced height, making it more manageable and realistic. Despite being at a smaller scale, it could still become the world's first modern car-free city and a new way of living. Experts' opinions about the project's feasibility and success vary. Anthony Vives, chief urban planning officer at Neon, expresses optimism and excitement about the progress being made, acknowledging the complexity of the undertaking. On the other hand, experts not directly involved in the project raised concerns about the challenges of achieving the proposed minimalistic and environmentally friendly character. As construction progresses, the future of Neon and the line will become clearer. The project could be a groundbreaking success, a grand achievement in urban planning, and a beacon of innovation. Alternatively, it may encounter insurmountable challenges, leading to an abandoned megaproject. Only time will reveal whether this vision of a futuristic and sustainable city becomes a reality or remains an ambitious dream. What do you think? Will this project succeed in some way? Will the line attract residents and thrive, or will it become another abandoned megaproject? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for your support and we look forward to keeping you updated on this extraordinary journey in our future videos.